All right, you guys set? Whenever you're ready, you're on. All right, hi everyone, I'm Mr. MKL. This is my silent competitor, Ducky. Uh, we are here to play Mighty Gun Vault. Um, you can see here that there are three characters in this game. We're doing a two-character race because I backed the Mighty Number no. 9 Kickstarter and I'm still angry. So we're n not going to be playing that one. Um, oh yeah, that'll be useful. Um, <clears throat> All right, but so here we are. This is a little um, homage to Mega Man uh, games in celebration of uh, Mighty Number no. Nine. Yeah, yeah. Um, in celebration of Gun Gal and uh, Azure Striker Gunvolt. So we're going to start off. The uh, first character we're going to be racing here is a Koro, and then we're going to run right into uh, Gunvolt after that. Are you ready, Ducky? We're not ready yet. You guys aren't ready. No, I Do I just need to? I can. I can. There you go. It's popped up. All right, all right, let's do a little countdown here. In three, two, one, go. All right, let's go. All right, guys. So, like I said, this is a, um, an ode to old school Mega Mans. Um, we have three different characters we're playing with. Uh, one of, uh, each of them have their own different little um, mechanics. So first we're playing off with Okoro, who uh, has this little float ability. And uh, she can actually, she's weaker than the other characters, but she can fire more bullets than them. So, playing a bit of a um, lower damage, more interesting mobility kind of character here. So what, what, uh, what we'll find with this game is that a lot of it is, like, the levels are mostly non-RNG. They're pretty rote, right? So it's just a matter of executing on them. The bosses are almost complete RNG. So we're going to be praying for some really good patterns here. And uh, I think that's going to be one of the main differentiating factors in our times. So we're just making our way through the school stage, which is a stage designed from one of the Okoro Galgun games. Just some bomb dodging. And we're going to be fighting a weird... Oh, wait, wait. First boss is the tentacle monster. So... So we've just got some patterns we're trying to get through. These are all timed platforms. Uh, so you don't want to get caught. Oh, right. One thing I forgot to mention. You might see on Ducky's side here that he has a little partner. So uh, Akora actually has a charge shot that if you hit, hit an enemy with a charge shot and then uh, kill them, they'll actually become your partner. They'll float behind you. And we'll see if I can... Oh. So they'll float behind you and actually shoot shots at, uh, at the enemies here. So you can kind of manipulate how, um, how they fire their shots. Oh, missed him. Okay, good. Didn't climb the wall there. That's what we want. And uh, so for for this boss, you'll actually see that... Oh, wow. Got a much better pattern than me, didn't you, Ducky? For that boss, uh, it's completely random whether the tentacles come up or whether the enemies pop up. Um, but after two enemies, sets of enemies popping up, you're guaranteed to uh, go to the tentacle after that. So um, you're just... Hoping for the uh, for the tentacles to pop up as soon as possible, so you can expose that enemy's weak spot. But here we are, off to our second stage. I'm actually going to avoid getting a uh, partner until a little later on, just because I find that the shots that they launch can actually mess up some of my some of my platforming. Oh wow, we're actually pretty close here. What was that? Oh, am I? All right. So, um, yes, for the uh, the Gunvolt community actually uses in-game time uh, for this game because it's on several different platforms and they all kind of have different load times, even within the same one. Like, all have varying, greatly varying load times it's playing the game on the same PC. So, um, just another just another little wrinkle to add to our race.
But yeah, there's a bunch of subtle little differences to all the characters. Like Akoro is actually a taller character than the other, than the other two, uh, meaning that she can actually, whoops, uh, she can actually reach um, some enemies above ledges much easier than the others. All right. So this enemy is actually so wide um, that uh, we can actually get several of our bullets inside his hitbox at the same time to deal some extra damage. So um, there you go, I got a couple hits there. Um, it's one of the few ways you can actually speed up these fights. And now unfortunately since I don't have a partner, I'm not able to reach him here. And I've just got to kind of eat this time loss. Oh, Ducky. Unfortunately, he got that. Didn't get those last couple hits in. This level here has um, these little boost pads as the the level gimmick. Um, they actually make you go quite fast, so uh, hitting them when they're they're taking you on your direct path is probably the best idea. But some of the other characters you'll see, so like Gunvolt, for example, instead of the float like a Koro has, Gunvolt has a double jump. Um, so he's actually able to skip up and around some of these corners, as you'll see in the uh, next part of our race. Oh, uh, boo. So in this one here, you can see I have to go all the way around, take all of these boost pads. I'm not able to skip any of them, so... Okay, but good. I have my little partner going into this boss fight here, so that'll help me. This boss can also end up in a couple positions where you can't reach him regularly, um, so this end this little assist will uh, help me out if he's giving me problems. And some of this boss's patterns are extremely slow. Like this one here, he's out of range for most of it. And then there's this whole cycle where he's shooting off lasers. So really, you've just got to hope that he has one of the still patterns where he's within reach. And then you just got to really wail away on him. This is a nice one, too, because when he flies off the side of the screen, he's actually still vulnerable. And so you just got to shoot your arrows off screen, and you're able to get that extra bit of damage in. Nice. It's a fairly short game, but like I said, it's so RNG dependent um, that it can it can make make for some diff very differently timed games, right? Like you might hit eight minutes in one run, and then end up with a 12 minute run in the next. Nice little float over top of the turrets. So yeah, if there are any like um, game tech wizards out there who want to help us out, if you can find some way to like mitigate the RNG in this game, boy, that would be lovely. Spent days trying to figure out a way to just manipulate this stuff, but I can't seem to find a way to do it. So here we have this really long horizontal train segment, which is great for Okoro, because she can just fly over most of it. Whoops, but if you miss your jumps, that doesn't help. Oh, 
Alright, so this guy here, he has some... He has a few patterns, he has a couple short hops, a couple long hops, you can fire this. And then he'll dive into the walls, which we might end up seeing. Which is, here we go. Not only is it the slowest of his patterns, it's the one you take the most damage on. So really, you're hoping for him to go into just shooting some fireballs at you instead of this. There we go. All right, so going into the last boss, Ducky's pulled ahead just a little bit here. Um, granted, yeah, like, look, look at this, right? My load time so much shorter than his. I know, and mine's more loaded up with nonsense, so. All right, unfortunately, nothing we can do on this one. We just gotta hope hope that we get the good patterns. Unfortunately, I'm being left with some, whoops, some bad options here, like this dagger one from above. There's just, there's nothing you can do. You lose several seconds just sitting around. Oops. There we go. So we've decided we usually can, we can like close the game, restart. That's what we usually do in our like multi-character races. We're just gonna sit this one out in fear of messing up the stream somehow. So all right. So now, guys, we're gonna run into it, and we're gonna be exploring Gunvolt as a character who is really cool. Like I said, he has a double jump as opposed to the float, like Okoro has. Um, Okoro has that charge shot. Uh, that she can use to capture enemies. Um, but Gunvolt actually has a big charge beam, which will you'll, f you'll see will be very useful for going through uh, the bosses in this run. Uh, I'd like to thank Aaron Gobard for the $5 donation. Yes, thank you everyone who's been donating. Really appreciate it. Doing what we can to raise money for sick kids. All right, so I seem to have a bit of catching up to do. I think I'm just a couple screens behind, thankfully. You also might notice that the um, the level order is actually different for Okoro and the other characters. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe they just wanted to start every character off on uh, a stage based around like their games. Big help. As you can see here, Ducky is, um, and now myself, we're just trying to, I think we've actually got the same set of RNG. Um, but yeah, the ideal is you just want to be able to stand still, because you can't move when you're doing Gunvolt's charge attack like this. Um, but, so you just want to, you have a really wide range and you can tilt it up and down. So the idea is to just stay in that perfect range to just have hit the enemy hopping through it uh, to deal max damage. There's also a little bit of a trick in the game where if you actually, if you're hitting the enemy with just like the edge of that beam's hitbox, you can manipulate it to get some double hits where it'll just ignore iframes. Um, 
So there's... Actually, on this here boss for the school is probably the clearest example of it. Um, so hopefully you'll see either me or Ducky get that. But you can just absolutely tear through the, uh, the boss's life. Oh, right, before I forget, there's also another lo lovely little glitch here. So you can see there's all these, like, screen transitions when you're crawling up a ladder. Um, but if you're, like, Gunvolt, you can just hop above the ladder and ignore the screen tra transition altogether. Um, this leads to some fun stuff where you can actually um, zip through entire screens if you time your um, ladder climb correctly. So I'm going to try to show that off a little later on in this level here. And as well as in a couple of the other ones coming up. Yeah. Yes, Ducky is uh, just saying that he's not comfortable enough with his lead right now to risk doing any of that. I would love to save the extra few seconds, so I'm going to give it a go. It's actually coming up right here. To set it up, we go above. We go below, and we hop, ah, we hop, and we try to climb the screen at the, climb the ladder at the right time, and it just confuses the game, and um, throws you upwards to get you to the next transition point. Uh, so unfortunately I didn't get it there, but I'm going to give this a go in our upcoming stages. Oh, you just got the one cycle? So there you Ah, oh, nice, nice. Okay, we both did it. So you can see there, right? If you just hit his uh, weak spot with just the edge of that beam, it'll do constant damage, right? So you can just drain that life bar. Um, it's possible to do it on the other bosses as well. It's just far more difficult. So in this level as well, we'll have a couple opportunities to um, to skip screen transitions, and uh, there's a couple zip options available, so I'm going to give those a go. So I'm going to try for a double zip here. No. Ah. Timing's just not working out for me. But I really want to be able to show this off, so... Look at me. I'm trying to get all fancy, and I'm just extending Ducky's lead. But the way this game goes, with uh, so much of the, so many of the bosses being RNG dependent. Oh come on! I'm really not having good luck with that guy. Well, yeah, with all the RNG in the bosses, you're um, it's really easy to to have your time just sapped away from you. So. I managed to close the gap a little bit there. And all right, the, so we're going to the tower stage here. And this boss, like you saw last time, um, can fly all over the place and just drop those little lasers. Um, this is one of the, the, probably the fastest boss in the entire game, if it goes well for Gunvolt, but one of the slower, uh, slowest if it doesn't. So we're hoping for a very specific set of RNG for this, uh, for this boss coming up. Oh, 
resources. All right, let's get through this fire guy. I am taking a beating in this stage, though. Getting a little bit of health back, at least. Alright, now we're just praying, praying that this boss just flies into the center of the screen. Just... Just right there. Yes, that's exactly where we want him to be. And then he reappears. Boom. One of the fastest fights in the game, honestly. Right? And just like that, right? This is... We were, we were neck and neck there. Um, and barring something going horrifically wrong for me in the last boss... It's... Yeah. Literally. Oh, really? And he's on one pip of health at the end there? Oh, for, uh... There we go. And that's time for me. 2101. All right. Get the what? I'm still going. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. So he's he's still got he's still got a 30 seconds left or something like that. So right, and then of, of course, uh, boss starts off. Zonda starts off with the slowest pattern possible. Um, this one you'll see she'll drop down from the right because she came from that direction. There's all these little cues that these bosses have that let you kind of wow. That's time. That was an extremely fast last boss fight. I didn't even I didn't even catch that. Oh man. Yo, GG Ducky. What what was it? 2134. Yeah, so about about 30 second time difference there. And that was really it was down to that one last tower boss where it's like if you had gotten that same bit of RNG, you would have taken that. Like my my last boss fight lasted longer than yours. So Oh, that's amazing. This is this is guys, this is a race that has been I don't know what 2 years in the making or something like that. We've kept trying to get this arranged, so I'm really happy that we've finally been able to do this and show off, uh, show off Mighty Gunvolt to uh, a group of people. The good part. The good part. Yeah, two thirds. The good part of Mighty Gunvolt.